If you had a H. pylori infection, you managed to kill it, so you don't have H. pylori anymore, but you still have a lot of reflux, this video is for you. Now you could have what's called chronic H. pylori gastritis, which would be inflammation of that stomach area caused by having that H. pylori there for so long. And it appears that that gastritis can lower acid secretion, so you still have the same problem, but it's not being caused by H. pylori. So previously you had H. pylori, it was secreting an enzyme that reduces your acid production, but now you've killed the H. pylori, but you've got the gastritis left over, which is also suppressing your acid production. Both of those things will lead to more reflux and more acid into the esophagus because both of them are low acid problems. So when you eat your food, you don't have enough acid to digest the problem, the food, sorry, and then it comes back up into your esophagus. Now, if I was working with someone in this situation and they had gastritis, I'd be looking at lots of anti-inflammatories. I'd be changing their foods to take out some of the aggravating issues. And I'd be looking to see if they had any nutri nutritional deficiencies, sorry, that would help suppress acid production as well. That's what I would do. Hopefully that's helpful to you guys. If you like these, please follow along for more.